to have a really nice summer. Beautiful days, nice warm nights, but other parts of the country, you guys are sweating day and night. So I'm here to give you some really great tips on how to enjoy delicious iced coffee. So the first way I'm gonna start is using the Freda. Now the great thing about the Freda is you get to make one cup at a time, and it's a process that really allows the coffee to still maintain its acidity and its light notes. So I chose to use a coffee that I thought would complement that really well, our Panama Don K, the best of Panama non-geisha winner. It's delicious coffee, gentle orange, some beautiful juicy apricot and sweet caramel notes. It works great as a nice coffee. So I'm just gonna start by wetting my filter here, which I've already done, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my coffee in here. Now remember when you're using a Freda or any type of V60, you wanna use a slightly finer grind than you're using for auto drip or anything like that. The other thing that you want to make sure you're doing when using a V60 is just a nice gentle pour. You really want to maintain it, especially on this iced one, the Freda, since we're going to be introducing a smaller amount of water, we really want to make sure we control that flow. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my bloom. I'll give it about 30 seconds and then I'll go ahead and continue pouring. Now you can find the exact recipes for all of these iced coffee proportions on the website, clatchroasting.com. But for this one, I'm going to get a total amount of liquid of about 250 mils. And it's going to be a combination of the water I add along with the ice melting. So we're brewing a stronger cup of coffee directly over the ice. Really nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our water here. Again, nice and gentle, slow down the pour here. Now, this is great for one cup at a time, but let's say you're having a group of friends over that you want to make iced coffee for. Toddy is one of my favorite methods. It's what we use in all of our stores, and it's what our customers love this summer. That rich, smooth cup of coffee. It's versatile. You can use lots of different coffees in it. Um, you know, if you're going to use, it produces a concentrate, like you can see right here, and this concentrate you can use for lots of different things. You can uh, mix it with water and just have a delicious cup of iced coffee here ready to go. You can also do something um, like using the concentrate in the form of an espresso in a shake or a blended drink. In the morning, you can just keep this in the fridge, add it to a cup of ice, top it off with some milk, um, and you've got a great ice latte waiting for you every morning. So this is a really versatile type of concentrate. I love it, it works really well. I like to use uh, so richer coffees when I use the toddy method. So for this one, I actually chose our El Salvador Yellow Bourbon. Still a really juicy cup of coffee, but has a delicious, uh, rich body to it, nice and creamy, uh, but still ends up being great and juicy as well. So I think this is an awesome method as well. If you don't have a toddy maker, you can always kind of transform your French press, if you will. You're just gonna combine your ground coffee with some cold water, let it sit in your press for 24 hours, and then you're gonna go ahead and plunge the coffee down, and you end up with that same type of concentrate. So the toddy method, toddy method is very easy, really foolproof, just takes 24 hours, so you gotta do a little bit of planning ahead. You know, I think the best uh, way to do it is to combine the two of these. If you don't wanna wait, you have a nice, delicious frutta. And what I like to do with my frettas as well is I don't want to lose any of this delicious coffee flavor. So I really like to make sure the ice that's in here, I actually pour this directly into my cup. And then I just pour my iced coffee right over it, already chilled and ready to go. I maintain all of that delicious coffee flavor. Let's give this one a try. Over ice, I really just think that gentle orange comes out even a little bit more, that juicy apricot, and then that caramel just rounds it all out. Really delicious. And again, over on the toddy, I use the yellow bourbon. Totally different cup, um, obviously different coffees, but I mean, the way that the, the methods transform the coffees is what I find so interesting about it. So have fun with iced coffee this summer. You can find all of these tools on the website, platchroasting.com, as well as find the exact recipes that I use to create these iced coffees. But get out there, enjoy the sun. I'm out here at the patio of our newest store in Ontario, and I couldn't be happier. Enjoy your summer.